Hey fellow drone enthusiasts and of course a shout out to my friends at the Drone Seekers. Uh, Marcus Crawford here uh, with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, uh, just uh, I got up this morning. This is uh, Saturday morning, uh, the 30th of March, and uh, I saw there was a new uh, firmware release for the Hubson Zeno. So I made it a priority to uh, to get out and uh, and make a quick video about it. So uh, I've got the the Zeno, the firmware uh, upgraded to uh, FC uh, 1.1.50. And per Hubson's instructions, even though the other firmware, the gimbal and the uh, FPV firmware were not new, I also loaded those as well. If you look at their instructions, they say to load them all. If you load, don't don't load one without loading the others. Uh, so I'm big on following instructions. I'm not a big technical guy, but I can I can do what they tell me to do. So. Uh, so that's how I did it. So uh, let's not mess around here. We'll test some turns and stuff. Uh, I'll just let it show you. I brought the uh, brought the Corvette out today just just for the fun of it because it's a nice sunny day. Uh, so uh, we'll I'll get this thing up in the air. We'll do a takeoff here and we'll look for the uh, Hubson drop. Although as I've said in the past, I really don't think that's a big factor. Or a big deal, but it is something that people notice and that I notice. So, so we want to show that. Uh, and then we'll, I'll turn the camera around. We'll point towards the uh, the field here, and uh, and we'll do some turns and so forth. And and uh, my understanding is that this upgrade is supposed to improve stability. So that'd be that it would be great. Uh, although honestly, uh, I was pretty happy with uh, the the Zeno as it is, but uh, improvements are always welcome. So, uh, without further ado, let's get this thing up in the air. Hey guys, uh, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I'm going to interrupt this uh, video for just a second. Got a couple things I need to tell you. Uh, I ran out of battery partway through the test of the new uh, firmware. So I'll get back out on another day and do a, a full test. I apologize for that. I don't know if I didn't have that battery fully charged or what the issue was. I char I thought I had the battery completely charged. I did all the upgrades at that time, the firmware upgrade. Uh, but uh, it, it looks like by the time I started uh, the, the video that I was making out in the field, I only had 47% battery and I didn't realize that, uh, as you'll see in the video until it did, uh, a return to home. And then also I want to, uh, post the, uh, the conditions here. Uh, I'll put that up on the screen so you can see the, uh, weather conditions at time of flight. Anyway, uh, thanks everybody. Back to your scheduled program. So it looks like gusts up to seven miles an hour. Okay, so it's uh, it's wanting to uh, calibrate the gyro sensor, so uh, so we will do that. So it is showing the uh, the firmware upgraded to the uh, 1.1.50. So by gyro sensor, I'm hoping that means uh, horizontal calibration. So we'll do that. So uh, it looks like we're good to go. Uh, motor's locked. So let's uh, we'll do an auto takeoff. Let me tilt the camera down here so you can see it. Well, boy, it's hard for me to see. We got some pretty good sun here, so I want to tilt it up so that we can see the drop. So here we go. We're gonna do uh, we're gonna do an auto takeoff via the app. Wow, uh, there was there was no discernible drop there. I mean, just maybe a tiny little bit. So let's uh, let's start video. Video is started now. Man, that thing is rock solid. Let's uh, let's bring it in in front of the camera here. Wow, guys, I, uh, that's me moving it, if you're wondering. Ah. 
trying to get it right in front of the camera here. Uh, so there you go. So what you're seeing there, so now I'm not touching the controls. So anything you see is uh, is right there, uh, right there with the drone. So I mean, I see it's raising just a slight amount, but man, oh man, I think I'm saying that's pretty darn steady. Uh, and there isn't much wind today. About uh, you saw what it said on uh, 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 about five mile an hour winds. So a little bit of a breeze. I don't. I'm not even sure it's that. Maybe I see some leaves blowing around. Well now. It's dropping down a little bit. I'm not touching the controls, and it dropped. So that drop was without me touching anything. And what I'll add to that is that drop coincided with a little gust of wind. So, and, and there again, we're getting a little gust of wind, and, and the Xeno is dropping, kind of adjusting the camera here to get it. So we're getting a little wind now, and it's moving the thing around. So uh, I am I am no engineer, and some of you guys that are smarter than me can probably comment on this, but I suspect, my suspicion is, that that affects the barometer. And without uh, any kind of other optical flow or sonic sensors, uh, I'm sure that's what affects it. So. Uh, so there, that's that, and uh, but you know it feels pretty steady to me. Uh, we'll uh, we'll spin it around here. Let you get another look at it. So uh, so I'm gonna get the thing out in the field here, and we'll we'll do some tests. Let me get it out here, and I'll turn the camera around. So you can see what's going on. Wow. I don't know what it's doing, but it just took off on me. Oh, I'm showing low battery. Huh. Man, it's, it's way up in the air. Oh, it's in return mode. It's showing really low battery, 19%. And I just charged it. It showed a full charge, so I don't know what happened there. Well, we're not going to get much testing done here. I'm going to have to go back and uh, look at it. So it's coming down, or should be. So I have my return to home height set pretty high. Uh, so I'll have to go back and look at this video to see what we started out, out with with battery. I, I charged it this morning and thought I had a full charge on there. Had the green lights. Yeah, so something really funny is going on. But we'll get a chance to see how how, how it comes down. Well guys, uh, I'm sorry about that. That wasn't much of a test. It's showing 19% battery. So I, I wonder if this, this could be completely my fault. I may not have, I may have thought I had the battery plugged in and I didn't. I, I don't really know. I, I swore I saw the green lights on the, on the charger when I unplugged it and I had it on there for a good three plus hours so so I don't know what happened there uh, we'll go back and look at this video and see what the battery level was uh, at the start and uh, we'll go from there but we did kind of get an idea of uh, uh, of how it takes off and we didn't see any kind of drop there uh, so uh, yeah a little bit of a mystery uh, I'll get it figured out and and uh, if I can, uh, if I can get charged up, uh, we'll do another test and uh, do some of the turns, etc., and look for some of the dives and things that we've seen in the past. Uh, but boy, it sure caught me off guard there when I was turning around, going out in the field, and then it started ascending. Well, I have my return to home altitude set really high. I think like 
uh, 50 or 60 meters, something like that. I like to make sure that it's going to clear anything in its path. So I was set that really high and man, all of a sudden it took off. So that was my first clue that, that, uh, that it was going into RTH. And sure enough, I looked at it and there it was. And I, and I saw that battery meter uh, at that point, I think it was like 21% or something like that. So uh, we're, I'll have to go back and look at this and I'll let you know whether it was uh, user error or, uh, or something else. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. And if you like this kind of content, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, and hey, if nothing else, just thank you for looking at this video and we'll see you on the next one.